Hey love and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica aka Angie B. My channel is all about growing your natural hair, helping us all grow long, strong, healthy hair. And I also do a little bit of skincare and makeup here and there when it's requested. So if you're interested in anything like that, please hit the subscribe button. It is right down there as well as the bell icon, which makes sure you get notifications every single time I post and you can wait to the end to do this if you want. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being part of the family. Let's get straight into the video. Today's video is all about the top five natural hair myths. Okay, so we're gonna get straight into it, but before we do, please tell me what the number one hair myth you have heard is to do with natural hair. Comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you guys heard, or you can wait till the end of the video and comment. I'd be highly interested and I'm sure everyone else would like to know as well. Let's go into the first myth about natural hair. The first myth about natural hair is that trimming or cutting your hair makes it grow faster. This is a lie. It is a myth, it's a lie. Your ends have nothing to do with your roots. Your hair does not grow from the ends, it grows from the roots. So even if you cut your hair to this point, it has no effect on your roots. Your hair is growing out of your scalp, it's not growing from the ends. So cutting your ends will not help your hair grow any faster. What it will do is it might help you retain more length, so it appears that your hair is growing faster, and it might help your hair be healthier because you're getting rid of all the damaged split ends and it's growing nicely and healthier, and maybe it looks like it's growing at a faster rate because you are retaining more length. Otherwise, there's no like message that goes through your brain when you cut your hair at the ends that says, okay, ends are gone now, let's start growing faster. No, your hair grows at whatever the same rate it has been growing on, or maybe if you've changed up a few things, you're eating healthier, you're working out and using the best products. Maybe your hair might be growing a bit faster, but it doesn't mean it's growing faster because you cut the ends off. Cutting the ends off are just good because it maintains the health of your hair, but it does not make your hair grow any faster. The next myth is that natural hair products are best for your hair. And there's some things that they say, like if you can't pronounce it, then it shouldn't go in your hair or on your skin, or that anything that you put on your hair should be good enough for you to eat. I'm sorry, but this is a lie. It is a myth. Just because something is natural, it doesn't mean that it's the best thing for your hair. I always give this example of coconut oil. My hair hates coconut oil. As soon as I put the coconut oil on, it is stiff, it is brittle, it is hard, my hair hates it. However, if I use a product that has coconut oil mixed into it with some other things, usually there is no problem. But if I use things like rice water, that's 100% natural, my hair loves it, but I can't use too much of it. But my hair also loves products like this, which is the Eden Split End Repair Mask, or the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey, which is mostly natural products, but it does have preservatives and stuff like that so it doesn't go bad. I use shampoos that have sulfates in them sometimes. What works best for your hair is what works best for your hair. It doesn't have to be 100% natural. It doesn't have to be good enough to eat because it's meant for your hair. Just because it's natural doesn't make it any better than something else. It has a higher chance of being better for you than another product, but it doesn't mean that it's better. It has to just work for your own hair. I can give you a perfect example of something that is 100% natural. Poison ivy, arsenic, those things can literally kill you and they are 100% natural. That doesn't mean they are good for you. The same way they are bad the same way there are chemicals that are extremely bad for you and they can really damage your hair and there's chemicals that actually help your hair so just find the perfect balance and find what works for you it is a myth that natural hair is best that natural products are best for natural hair the third myth about natural hair is that it will help your hair grow faster stronger whatever if you are let's say relaxed or you have a keratin treatment or something like that going natural will not make your hair grow faster or better or stronger it might improve the quality of the health of your hair, but if you treat your hair badly in whatever state it is, it will not grow, it will be bad. Not that it won't grow, hair always grows, but it will be breaking off, it will probably stay short and damaged. If your hair is relaxed and you don't know how to comb it, you're violent with it, you use very bad products for your hair, and by that I mean anything that your hair doesn't like, you do not deep condition, you neglect your hair, you do hairstyles that pull your edges out like the really tiny braids and twists. If you continue doing exactly that when your hair is natural, you will have the same results. Going natural is not going to help anything 
it most likely will even be harder for you to manage because if you can manage straight hair curly hair is even going to be harder you'll probably be combing your hair extremely violently all you're going to do is have maybe thicker natural hair but the same health overall maybe you're flat ironing it all the time and you, it's severely heat damaged so maybe you're just going to be swapping out chemical damage for heat damage so it's not true to say that going natural is going to help the health of your hair Improving the health and the quality of your hair is up to you how you treat it the products you use and the way you comb it The fourth natural hair myth is that oils moisturize your hair now There are some oils that are more hydrating than other oils, but they do not moisturize your hair oils only lock in the moisture and they can add to it But they do not create moisture so if your hair is extremely dry and brittle and you think let me moisturize my hair I want it to feel a little bit softer and you put oil on it maybe initially right after you put the oil when it's still feeling a little bit wet or damp your hair is going to feel nice and soft but as soon as that is absorbed into your hair it's only going to lock in the dryness all you have to do is use a moisturizer before even if your moisturizer is water then use oil on top that will seal the moisture into your hair but just using plain oil does not moisturize hair the fifth myth about natural hair is that certain products make your hair grow and certain products promote hair growth they can enhance your hair growth but if your hair is growing like the way my hair is growing this is usually a question i get all the time i'll be walking down the street or someone comes into my office or something and they'll say oh wow your hair is looking so good it's so long it's growing fast what product do you use and i always don't know what to say because there's no single product that's just like a miracle that can do everything for your hair i know there's rice water there's wild growth oil there's aloe vera and all these things can enhance your hair growth but the same way i was talking about the relaxed hair and stuff like that if you treat your hair badly, you don't know how to comb it, you use really bad products and you happen to use that one good thing, it's not going to help your hair grow. It's like eating an extremely bad diet, you know, you've got fried chicken, chips, a Coca-Cola, you've got all these bad things and then you have like a salad on the side. That is literally what having a single product for hair growth is. Having that little salad on the side that's just like, oh yeah, now I'm healthy because I ate a salad, but everything else was bad. It's the same thing. You can have the one amazing product that really promotes hair growth, but you don't know how to comb your hair, you don't use deep conditioners, you don't wash your hair often enough, you do bad protective, protective styles. If you're just treating your hair extremely badly, having a single product is not going to help grow your hair. So if you ask someone, what product do you use to make your hair growth? It is never a single thing. It's always a combination of a bunch of things that you need to do like anything. And now the bonus myth about natural hair is that certain natural hair is better than others and natural hair is better than relaxed or chemical treated or whatever hair. Natural hair is like any other hair. It is just hair, it is on your head, and natural hair, the best hair, is what you believe the best hair is. If you believe that my hair is better than yours, then my hair is better than yours. If you believe that someone with type 1 or type 2A or type 3B, 3C, 3A, if you believe that that hair is better than yours, then it is. If you believe that your hair is better than natural hair, then to you it is. But there is no fact. Everybody's hair is good hair. If someone wants to have extremely bleached finger waves, if they want to have relaxed hair, whatever kind of hair is the best hair, focus on your own hair. Be positive because that is the best thing. Positivity promotes growth in every single avenue of your life. If you're interested in more of these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comment section below and comment what other videos you'd like to see from me. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit my face right there if you didn't subscribe in the beginning and watch the two videos on the side of the screen right here if you want to see any of my old videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!